Welcome to Inside Sim Racing. I'm Darren Ganji, and today I'm here to review the Race King Button Box by Derek Spear Designs. Back in April, I first caught wind of Derek Spear's components on the iRacing forums, and then on our forums as well. And Derek makes a variety of components or additions to wheels, mainly Logitechs. And I contacted him in regards to reviewing one of his button boxes, and he was more than happy to send one our way. And a matter of fact, it was this special version that he calls the Race King. And the Race King is only available to winners of races, like the Race King 300 that ran a few, actually about a month or two ago on, uh, on iRacing. Derek's button boxes start at about 50 bucks and go up to about 100 or so for the more elaborate ones, and some even have lighted buttons. Besides the Race King, he has a complete lineup of button boxes that handle up to 31 functions. Also looks like he has one coming out that's called the Formula, and it has dials as well. The Race King comes with four safety toggles, four two-way switches, and then 16 buttons for a total of 28 functions. The boxes are plug and playable and require no software or drivers whatsoever. So basically, you just plug it into your PC, and you're ready to go. It comes with this coil cord, USB cord, and that's it. Not compatible with the PS3 or the Xbox 360, so there you go if you wanted to know that. So every title I've tried it with on the PC, it's worked flawlessly. iRacing, R-Factor, Game Stock Car, uh, Race 07, all work perfectly. So let's talk a little bit about the box. It, starting with the four safety toggles, comes with these four covers that you can cover the switch. So basically, you want to make sure that you're not touching these during racing. I've got mine currently set to a pit speed limiter, ignition switch, which I showed you guys when I was coming in here. Uh, let's see if I can fire this thing up. Yeah, there we go. Starter, uh, stuff like that. So next row is two-way toggles. I've got mine set brake bias, chat uh, going up and down as far as the volume. So when I'm hearing other drivers chatting, uh, my seat position forward and back, up and down. And then from there, we got the 16 rows of buttons, like I mentioned. Uh, the first row are like pads, and the second row is more like a plastic cover on a button, and they definitely feel different. And, it, and it's cool to have that because then, you know, when I'm driving, I can just feel my way around the button so I know exactly what's there. So, like, for instance, in iRacing, I have lap timing, standings, relative. Mute, I can mute all the other drivers on the, on the server. Uh, fuel, tires, tire info. And I have to apologize for my poor labeling here on this box. It looks a little cheesy. I'm going to get some black labels with some white uh, lettering here pretty soon. But anyway, you can map this however you want. You know, you just go into whatever sim you're driving and pick a function and push the button. And it's as simple as that. For someone that wants to eliminate the keyboard, which you really can't do because you got to chat at some point, um, if you're racing online, that is. You know, this is the perfect alternative because, you know, the keys on a keyboard are all really close. And trying to fumble while you're racing, you know, especially you want to check your or set your fuel tires. For instance, I just ran the Indy 500 back in May. And, you know, at speed, if you're pitting under green, you know, and you need to adjust your fuel tires or anything like that, going to a keyboard is not easy. But having, you know, these buttons laid out the way they are, I know what I'm pushing. You know, I'm pushing fuel tires and all my tire info right now. Right now I'm going to my lap timing, my standings, my relative, and I'm not even looking at the box. So it just is a huge help and really takes the keyboard out of the equation. And then when you got a wheel like this, you know, this is the new uh, formula wheel by Fnatic. It, I'm not even using that many buttons on the wheel right now, which is really cool. So. You start really getting up in there into the formula race, you're adjusting different things on the fly, you know, it can really come in handy. We showed you a, a way to make a DIY button box about, I don't know, two, three months ago on uh, a This Week in Sim Racing episode. And it was about $35 to build one of those. And then plus your time and, you know, if you can even do it. For an extra 20 to 65 bucks, I'd honestly get one of these Derek Spears Designs boxes. Mainly because I'm sure mine wouldn't come out half as cool looking as this thing. So I'm gonna put the Race King on the rev scale, uh, but before I do that, I'm gonna take a quick commercial break and also gonna tell you about some other stuff when I come back that Derek Spear Designs has at his website. Tania is a 
extensive lineup of radio-controlled vehicles provides hobbyists with the joy of running exact replicas of their favorite car, tank, or off-road vehicle. Another attraction of these vehicles is their use of high-grade materials, such as nylon resin, carbon fiber, and polycarbonate. With precise mechanical systems, the maintenance and adjustment of the various components, as well as performance upgrading with optional parts, allows for truly competitive racing. For more information about Tamiya, visit us at www.tamiyausa.com. Welcome back to Inside Sim Racing, and I'm Darren Ganji. And besides this very large selection of button and switch boxes you see here, Derek makes some other really cool sim racing gear, like I mentioned at the top of the show. He makes a wheel plate that allows you to adapt a variety of wheels to your G25 or G27s. And after you've adapted to a Momo or some other aftermarket wheel, you need one of these wheel plates that Derek makes. Or if you just want to add some buttons to your G25 or G27, he has one for that as well. And for those of you that have a Leo Bodner SLI or one of these Sim Projects shift light indicators that I have right here, he has an enclosure that you can buy for us guys, which looks pretty cool, actually. On top of all that stuff, he's got some replacement parts for the G25 and G27, or at least this clamp that he's got here for about $12 shipped worldwide. And he's also working on a shifter that he's shown in our forums that looks pretty robust. All right, but you guys tuned in to find out about this particular button box, and I mentioned I was going to put it on the rev scale, but before I do, I'm going to talk about some pros and cons, and first thing I'm going to do is talk about the cons. Honestly, I don't have any. Um, my only con, really, is that I saw that he's got some dials on some of his other boxes, and I wish I could have had one. Um, the other con is I'm using this on the hot seat chassis right now, and I'm using what, what was the shifter plate. So I honestly have been really thinking about building like a console or something. So my other con is that having it, I want it mounted into a console. So there's really no cons for this thing, in my opinion. I mean, it just, this is my new best friend, my new best sim racing friend, to be honest, which leads me to the pros. More than enough buttons. You know, I, I'm honestly not even using the buttons on my wheel anymore. It's a must-have now. I've gotten used to having it here next to me all the time, and I honestly feel lost without it. Looks pretty cool. A buddy of mine came over last night. He's like, what is that? That's my new button box. Uh, they're affordable, anywhere from 50 bucks up to right around 100 Can be a significant help during pit strategies and long races. So, time for the rev scale, and if you haven't guessed by now, I'm going to give this thing a 10. I don't give many things a 10 on this show. You know, I've always, there, there's always something that's going to knock it down for some reason, but this thing is so useful, I can't think of any reason to not give it a 10, and I highly recommend getting one, whether you can only afford the $50 one, do a DIY one, uh, or, you know, go all out and get one that does 31 functions, you know, I highly recommend you get one. He ships these internationally, and remember, they are for the PC only. All right, well, that's going to wrap up my review of the Race King Button Box by Derek Spear Design. I hope you've enjoyed it. And if you're interested in picking one up yourself or checking out his designs, go to DerekSpearDesign.com, and we'll have the link right here in the description of the show. And I'm Darren Ganji, and I'm going racing. <laughs>